Winter is here, and we're in Verdestad to meet the team working with developing the Proceed concept. In the last episode, we looked at the early emergence in our test fields and met up with the farm manager at the private test farm to get his views of working with Proceed so far. We also had the pleasure to meet up with farmers during a field day on the test farm Shorentine and looked at some of the early results in our test fields. In the spring, we'll return to see how the crops look after the winter. In this episode, we'll leave our fields and dive into the machine and technology behind Proceed. What makes it special? What steps we have taken and the journey towards launching the machine? Proceed has already won many innovation awards in several European countries. Innovation has always been a big part of Verdestad's DNA. When Rune Stark founded the company back in 1962, he worked alone in this small workshop, which today is a museum. His driving force was to find a new solution to an everyday problem on his family farm. While Verdestad has grown significantly bigger and global since then, his driving force can be traced to the development of Proceed, to constantly find new solutions and seek improvements for farmers all over the world. Hi, my name is Oskar Karlsson and I'm a part of the team developing the Proceed concept here at Verdestad. For more than 10 years we have pushed the limit for what you can do with a planter and we even hold the world record for tempo, speed and precision. But why stop with traditional planter crops like maize, oilseed rape and sunflower? We know that several players within the industry have tried to singulate cereal seeds. We also accepted the challenge and used our previous knowledge for singulation of seeds and came up with a solution that brought the same accurate precision even for cereals. At Verdestad, every little detail counts. We have several high technology labs where we do testing to find proof of quality, like our seeding lab where Oscar is to meet some of his colleagues. In our seeding lab, we have the possibility to recreate different environments and simulate field conditions. When we develop a machine, we work very close together with our testing team to find new ways forward. We test the machine, we test all the components to make sure that everything has the right quality, that it works together and that it can form in various conditions. No seeds are alike. The difference in size, weight and shape makes the development to secure the seeds on the discs challenging, but also vital when it comes to precision. Together with the testing engineers, Oscar and his team constantly try out new ideas for improvement. Improvements that will lead to better results and a better product. Building new prototypes and running them through the hard test is part of that process. Right now, work is underway to build prototype number five of Proceed, and the team is keen on trying out the new developments. But far from all testing is done inside a lab. Aside from all the field tests that we do in close collaboration with our customers on their farms, our testing team also do functional testing of the machine in field, all year round and in many different conditions. During testing, we constantly find new improvements that will lead to a better result and therefore a better product. This is why building new and improved prototypes is an important part of the different phases in the development process. ProSeed is the most versatile seeder ever, with the possibility to plant a lot of different seeds in many different row spacing. The frame of the ProSeed is built with hourglass-shaped tube where the row unit can be attached at any position within the frame width. We can also shut off all row units individually to changing the row spacing. We have put a lot of effort developing our seed meter to make it possible to use the same seed meter for all seeds. 
for cereals, we have developed new discs considering weight, size and shape of the seed, but also what kind of speed and seed rate the customer expects to work with. All these inputs affect number of shape and holes on the disc and are crucial to find the perfect design of the disc. For the new C-Disc, we also designed knockout wheels to prevent residues getting stuck in the holes and jeopardizing the singulation. We thoroughly test different settings for singulators and air pressure and speed to be able to instruct the farmers how to optimize the result. And all these new changes together with our proven power shoe technology and stop wheel gives us the best possible precision. To give the row unit the best possibilities of placing the seed in the ground, we want a good reconsolidation. This is why Proceed is equipped with these reconsolidation wheels in front of each row unit. They are individually attached to the frame, which allows them to follow the contours of the field. These wheels are placed in an offset position, which prevents the machine from moving soil in front of it. They are also supported with an hydraulic cylinder to apply the right force to the ground. Proceed has a new developed system for balancing the machine in field. In the parallel linkage of the row units, we use an angle sensor to keep the linkage of the row units parallel. To make sure we keep it parallel and have a good frame height, we use the signal from the sensor to the hydraulic pressure in the reconsolidation wheels, adjusting the frame height. All this makes it possible for the machine to follow the field contour and no support wheels are needed. For all of you out there waiting for Proceed to be finished and to see it in action on your farms, I hope you give us the time to finalize our development of the first Proceed machine, that you give us the time to verify that it has the function we want, that it's the machine you can trust and it will exceed your expectations. In the next episode, we'll return to our fields in several different countries to see how Proceed has done in different conditions and in different soils. We'll meet farmers who are testing Proceed and continue to follow our testing engineers working in field at the Verdestad farm in Sweden. See you then. <laughs>